Our holiday parcels are beginning to pile up, and Canada Post is warning Canadians there could be some shipping delays this holiday season. For more on this, I'm, not, I'm joined by John Hamilton. He's a spokesperson for Canada Post, and he joins me from Ottawa. John, thank you so much for coming on our show. Hey, good morning, Andrea. All right, so John, lots of families will be separated this year during the holiday due to the pandemic, of course, and likely mailing more gifts than usual. So how has Canada Post prepared for this holiday season? Well, thanks. Yeah, we. Uh, this is our busiest time of year every year. We're uh, proud to do it, but this year is uh, certainly different. Uh, we've added over uh, 4,000 uh, employees uh, right across the country, added an extra 1,000 vehicles, extra parcel pickup locations. We've got uh, longer hours at our post offices. And this Christmas is really uh, different than the others for a number of reasons. One, just the volume of online shopping Canadians are doing because they've been doing so all year round. Uh, it started arriving about a week early. Uh, second, where it's coming from, from the small and medium-sized businesses have really upped their game this year and we're seeing a lot of uh, parcels coming from those smaller local shops and lastly the amount of parcels that Canadians are personally sending to loved ones because they can't go visit we're seeing a huge increase in that at our post offices this year mm -hmm. and how is Canada Post keeping the post office safe uh, as the numbers across Canada spike with COVID-19 cases yeah, we've been operating uh, throughout the year without stop. Uh, we put a number of measures in place in our facilities with physical distancing and mandatory masking. In terms of what uh, consumers would uh, notice uh, would be uh, our contactless delivery. We call it knock, drop and go. Uh, that's been a huge help. And we have mandatory masks. So no matter where you are in Canada, if you're going to a post office today, please bring a mask. Mm -hmm. And John, what's your advice for Canadians sending packages or buying things online? How soon do they need to get to get things into the post office. <laughs> This year, the sooner the better. Uh, when you're shopping, uh, look at the retailer's uh, shipping information. They'll give you a lot of good information on timing so you can have some peace of mind. If you're dropping something off at the post office, go to canadapost.ca. We have options within Canada up till December 21st, but you know, give yourself a little bit more peace of mind and then track your items as they go through the process um, with uh, you know safety precautions and the volumes we're seeing. Uh, it's likely that Canadians will see some delays, but we're busy.